As one of the oldest brands in the world, 107 years old this year, BMW is also one of the most impressive automakers. With every BMW model, cutting-edge automotive design, performance and technology become a reality. BMW was founded on the principle of innovation, and innovation is what propels the company forward. Technical advancements give drivers an immersive, one-of-a-kind driving experience that makes BMW famous. Before discussing BMW's present and the brand's outlook for the future, let's go back in time and learn how it all began. But before we move on, remember to like and subscribe to our channel and turn the post notifications on. BMW, one of the top 10 most valuable auto brands worldwide, wasn't always a car company. The business was founded in Germany in 1916 and produced aeroplane engines up until 1945. This explains why the propeller on its logo is rotating. After World War I, Germany could not produce aircraft engines due to the Treaty of Versailles. As a result, the company moved its emphasis to producing motorcycles and later, cars. In 1928, the business adopted the name Bavarian Motor Works. The BMW logo, which consists of the letters BMW, enclosed within a circle divided into four quadrants, was first used in 1929. However, BMW believes its actual birth date is March 7th of 1916. After multiple name changes and modifications to what it produced after the war, BMW created its first form of road transportation with the BMW R32 motorcycle in 1923 and its BMW 303 automobile in 1933. Following 1945, BMW shifted its focus from producing aircraft engines to designing its potent engines for motorcycles and automobiles. The BMW engine made the automaker a force to be reckoned with in engineering. It launched a production of car models that would go on to play a significant role in the lives of many generations of fans all over the world. One of BMW's first post-World War II models, the stunning and opulent BMW 507, could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 9 seconds and was a favorite of stars like Elvis Presley. BMW introduced the 1500 model in 1961. This car, which was small, sporty and exhilarating, ensured BMW's commercial success as a cutting-edge automaker. In the 1970s, the 2002 Turbo, another blockbuster for BMW, created history. The BMW 2002 is one of the most sought-after classic automobiles in the world, going from 0 to 60 in just 7 seconds. This vehicle is part of the BMW Art Vehicles Project, a group of 17 cars painted by well-known painters like Jeff Koons and Andy Warhol. BMWs like the M5 type were seen in Hollywood action films, including James Bond, The Bourne Supremacy, and Mission Impossible. The fastest BMW currently in production is the 2022 BMW M5 CS, which accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an astonishing 2.9 seconds. Where are BMW cars made? As a large established corporation, BMW no longer produces all of its vehicles in a single nation, let alone one facility, due to the complexity of its lineup and the fact that it now owns Mini and Rolls-Royce. There are 31 plants spread throughout 14 distinct regions. Remember, the BMW was a pioneer in electric and hybrid vehicles as well. The i3 City Car and i8 Supercar were marketed before their peers took plug-in vehicles seriously, possibly because they sold fewer units than was anticipated. Yes, they were much ahead of their time. What is the least expensive and most expensive car that BMW produces? The 1 Series is the base model, as one might imagine, even though it starts at a fairly substantial £25,000, has a 3-cylinder engine and has tiny wheels. Yet you can be sure that a sizable portion of your money is displayed to observers through the sheer volume of raw materials in its front grille. The M5 CS, which retails for £140,000 and may be the last non-electrified M5 to be produced, is the most expensive model. The price is justified by the unique features that you receive, including four bucket seats instead of just two. One of the fastest vehicles BMW has ever produced is the McLaren F1. A well-known V12 engine built by BMW propelled the vehicle, which, until the arrival of the Bugatti, held the title of World's Fastest Production Car. Its two-way average speed of 240.1 miles per hour, recorded in 1998 with TG hero Andy Wallace at the helm, vastly exceeds anything BMW itself has produced. 
Despite a few M vehicles being undoubtedly capable of it, BMW's road-going cars were never allowed to travel above 200 miles per hour. The F1 even outperforms any of BMW's plethora of Formula 1 vehicles, including the V12 LMR Racer, which peaked at 214 miles per hour on the Mulsanne Strait in 1999 and won the company's lone Le Mans 24-hour race. Which of BMW's concepts is the best? The business's first idea was the BMW Turbo from 1972, possibly even at its best. It doesn't take a degree in automobile design to realize that this nice, two-tone wedge was a sneak peek at the renowned BMW M1, the first M-Division product. It is slower, with a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine stolen from the 2002 Turbo. Nonetheless, it's positioned behind the driver and passenger, much like the 3.5-litre straight-six engine in the M1. Pop-up lights from the idea were produced, but gullwing doors were tragically not. The Turbo, however, offers much more than a one-off supercar. One hint can be found in its name. The sports vehicle has a miniaturized turbocharged engine that has nearly supplanted the category. What was BMW's worst mistake? The 2 Series Active Tourer must be included since it handles admirably for a vehicle designed to carry people. If you're a driving aficionado, you can ignore it and silently appreciate the money it makes for supporting the good things. Therefore, we won't even get worked up over BMW's present huge grill phase. Recall how hideous some of the crisp angle period vehicles looked when they were brand new and how nice a 5 Series M Sport from that era seems today. X7 having its day in terms of aesthetics is incredibly doubtful, but let's not count it out. Making the M8 in the 1990s was not BMW's worst moment. An amazing concept was pushing 550 horsepower, while Ferrari's modern V12s could only muster 500. Yet, it didn't make production, much less a motor show stand. Its absence can be attributed to the recession of the 1990s. Everyone who loves BMW will agree that nothing beats driving one. The tie between drivers and their BMWs lasts a lifetime because of a powerful emotional connection. They all consider it to be their ideal vehicle. Many people have inherited their fathers' or grandfathers' affection for BMWs. To buy a classic BMW, some people go halfway around the world. Some people invest months or even years into refurbishing their family car. They all share the pride of owning a BMW which unites them. Being one of the city's architectural highlights, the BMW headquarters in Munich in Germany was designated a protected historic structure in 1999. The Digital Emotional Experience, or DEE, or D, is the newest invention from BMW. Digital leadership in the automotive industry is not determined by who has the largest screen, the fastest processor, or the most lines of code written. No, the user's feelings and experiences are the only things that truly matter. The most environmentally friendly electric automobile is BMW's primary objective. The corporation has made some progress towards realizing its vision by using sustainable transportation logistics, a green BMW plant in Munich, sustainably produced aluminium, and hydrogen fuel cell technology, among other things. And with that said, that will be all for today's video. During the next 100 years, BMW will continue to provide owners with the pure pleasure of driving premium sustainable automobiles as a design icon and technological innovator. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notifications on, and we'll see you next time.